Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Tisha and today we are going to do one of my favorite videos to do. It is a post burn slash current burn candle review. I have been really going through the candles this month. I'm really proud of myself. Um, do you guys like my shirt? It's from Schitt's Creek. <laughs> I got it out and I was like, should have wore that for the video. Such an amateur. But anyway, um, so I burned through, I am on candle 15 for the month of July. We are only on July 14th today. So that is like crazy. Um, I do burn multiple candles, like the single wicks in the bathrooms and a couple in the open concept. So these aren't like a candle per day. And I do notice, and let me know what you guys think. I've been getting some candles that like, I light it and then run to, you know, put some laundry away and I come back out and the candle's done. That's how quickly down they're burning. So we're gonna talk about that, but um, I have quite a few different brands for you guys today. Single wicks, large jar style, three wicks. Um, so we're gonna just jump right in. But if you're new, I am kind of a candle reviewer. I do love to uh, try very many different companies. I also really, really love Bath & Body Works. So you've probably come here recently, then you know that I was a little bad during SAS, but that's okay. I've had so many of you guys reach out in the comments with like support, feeling the same way, offering really good ideas on what to do. So I'm good and I'm gonna be bringing you some videos very soon, shopping my stash, doing a project, use it up, and then maybe like a couple other videos from some really sweet folks here in the comment section um, that have given me really, really good ideas. So we're gonna do all of that to kind of, you know, get us to fall before we start um, haul and fall, y'all. But I already hauled a little fall, y'all. So we'll be seeing that is uh, pretty soon too. So we're gonna jump right in, but thank you guys so much for being here. And as always, because I'm an amateur, um, leave me down below what you guys have been burning and loving because I look through those comments and sometimes I like make my little wish list out of them. So I'm like, oh, if they say it's good and we kind of have the same candle vibes, sometimes I have to get that candle. So we're gonna jump right in. First off, from my last video, you guys are geniuses. I was being lazy. I stuck this candle in the freezer turned it upside down, smacked it, and it didn't even really need to be washed out. So I get to keep this little hot pink jar. And if you guys are really um, like good at saving things, I feel like you could just pull those little wicks out and you could like cut this up and use it for wax melt because this Waikiki Beach still smells really good. So I might try that even though you know I have a lot, but I wanted to thank you guys for those comments because I was like, oh yeah, I've heard that once before, but I just didn't know what was the best way, but that was a pretty good way. So I wanted to thank you because now I get to keep that cute pink jar and do something fun with it. Now we're jumping into the post burn reviews and I do have a couple of current burn reviews, which just means candles I've recently gotten that I haven't completely burned, but I have some thoughts. So we're jumping in. So do you guys remember when I did um, a review of the Adulting Candle Company? Well, she was so sweet and sent me another candle and I waited on it because I really liked the first one. My wick just kind of wouldn't stay lit. And I have to tell you guys, these candles, this little candle lasted longer than this candle did. I don't know, it's the soy, it's something to do with like the soy wax, but I had it lit for the same amount of time. And what I really enjoyed about this um, Nana's Banana Bread, still smells so good, but the wick lasted all the way down. It was a wood wick, so it made a little crackling noise that just kind of adds a little bit of something to the experience. But this, you could smell butter, you could smell like a bread note, you could smell the rich bananas. They almost smelled ripe, like instead of a fresh banana. I loved everything about this candle. This would be, there's like a cinnamon note in here. Every time I smell it, I can smell another, like something, like maybe the little cinnamon nutmeg, butter, sugar. I mean, it really smells authentic. And I had reviewed the brand, so um, I, I'm too new to link videos. They, they don't let you do it under a thousand subscribers, but um, I will uh, at least put the name in the description box so you can go back and watch it. A full review of this um, brand. I really love Shauna from the Adulting Candle Company. She's a one woman show. She has a lot of videos on Instagram showing how she does this process. And I just have to tell you guys, like that was, she sent me a new one, although I got the candle to, to do really well in a warmer. And I, that was, it was like incredibly kind. She sent me some other goodies. But um, I had purchased my original one and I will be repurchasing from this brand. Uh, everything I've tried so far, the wax melts just seem to last a little bit longer. 
this little candle lasted as long as my large jar from Goose Creek, and this one burnt down really well. I mean, of course, sometimes I should have probably been watching a little bit closer. I probably went over my two to three hour point, and that might be why I have a little bit of wax extra, but no, I'm really happy with the performance, and I better move on because I have like 100 candles here. Um, another candle, so we'll just stick with the smaller ones. I did get through a Sea Salt Therapy Mimosa Spearmint from Bath & Body Works. I had this one in the bathroom. I really like this one. This one does smell like a clean man to me. Um, I don't really know what the mimosa part of this is because I just smell that spearmint, but there's definitely like almost like a bergamot in here. It just smells like really clean, fresh man. So I loved burning this one in the bathroom and yeah, I still have quite a bit of wax left, but you can see that the wick is like completely dead. So keep that in mind. I do really enjoy single wicks from Bath & Body Works, but I do feel like I have quite a bit of wax left when the wick kind of duds out. So that was that one. And then I did burn through a mango Mai Tai. Again, another one I really love. I didn't pick up any three wicks during the um, SAS sale. I just never ran across any for 75% off, but this was a really good one. So if you were able to get your hands on this, I highly recommend. It's just a really, I don't have the notes written down. I didn't do my homework this time, but we kind of know what this smells like. You can definitely pick up the fresh mango and then there's a sweet berry in there. Um, it just smells like a really fun fruity drink. I felt like all three of these single wicks so far really did throw well for the space they were in. Now, again, I didn't put them in an open concept. This was in a bathroom. Um, this was in a hallway and the other one was in a bathroom. But for that space, I could smell it walking into that space. So it was throwing past the candle. Um, but yeah, I was happy with all of those. This one, I really did enjoy this brand as well. This is from Above Average Candle Studio. And these are homemade and they have this really fun like whipped um, uh, wax, but they have a cotton wick. And again, I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong. This one smelled amazing. And it had these really cute little wax fruit pieces on top, but uh, my wick like really is done. I can't get it to light. Um, so I have stuck it on the warmer, but it's like a lot left. So it's not really like it'll burn a little bit through here, but I think it's almost too much candle left to stick on the warmer for me. And again, I didn't really try it for very long because I think I just have so much I'm doing right now that I don't want to like, you know, babysit the candle. But when I got these, I really did enjoy this. Um, so I'm just not sure if I know how to do cotton wicks. Maybe there's a trick to it, but really did enjoy this. It was called Pour Me Some Punch and it was from a mom's collection. Really cute candles. And I do see that she has other varieties of things on her site. So I want to try some more from that site as well. Okay. Large jar. I'm working through my large jars because I kind of told you guys, as I've been organizing my collection, I'm kind of struggling with space. These take up way too much space, although the value is there. So if you have more space than me, I do like love the large jars. But another thing is, is you really should choose a scent that you absolutely love because this candle like takes a long time to burn through. So I have orange cream soda here and it was a really nice candle, burnt all the way down as you can see. Didn't give me any troubles, it didn't get too murky or anything. So I was really happy with the way this one performed. And this one just has like a really delicious orange, fresh fruity note, cream soda. It's got like an ice cream note to it almost. And it was really strong. I had this one the open concept and like, I didn't need to burn anything else. This one was like all the way through the house. So really enjoyed this, but that's kind of my thoughts on those large stars, large jar styles. You have to really love the scent because you are gonna have it for a long time, which I love. But since I don't have a place to store these, I'm burning through. Um, I have like two more left and then I'm probably just going to stick to three, but it's just for my organization purposes. But yeah, this one was like creamy and like smooth. I really, really enjoyed that like cream soda, like ice cream note. Um, I think it did have a fizzy note and that one wasn't as strong, but it's okay. Like it smelled like a dessert more than like a soda. But yeah, I really like that orange cream soda and it was fun for summer. And like I said, this lasted me for probably a month. I mean, I don't light all these like July 1st, but I finished them up over the first two weeks. So um, I really do love Goose Creek candles. They have been growing on me. I didn't have any issues, but I just had a pull for Bath & Body Works when I was, you know, started my channel and like just a, always probably shot Bath & Body Works with just a few other things sprinkled in. But now I've tried a few other companies and I'm telling you, every I'm on Goose Creek site just as much as I am Bath & Body Works site. Now a company that, one of their candles is like in my top 10 of the year. 
But overall, I'm not impressed with these country candles from Kringle. Um, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong again, um, but they get so murky, so kind of gross. And again, is that the biggest deal? No, but like our little candles don't do that. And this one's kind of getting like slimy weird. I don't know why, but um, this was called Sweet Stuff. And it was, it smelled like vanilla. You could almost smell like that marshmallow cotton candy. You know, this is like my kind of candle. But when the pink wax didn't stay pretty, it kind of just got me a little bit meh about this brand overall. But they do have a candle that has my heart and we're gonna get to it. But they're little countries, uh, they're two wicks. They last quite a bit of time. So um, I definitely think that if that wax color doesn't bother you, these throw really well. I mean, I know like I should give like a, eight out of 10 or whatever. I never know what that means. And I'm just that type A personality. It's like, I don't know what eight out of 10 is, but I would say that everything I burnt this week, um, this was definitely on the high medium side. My single wicks did well. This one didn't do as well, but I don't even know if it might've just got too old. I've had it for most of the year so far. This was probably my strongest candle so far. I would say I could smell this all through the house, but nothing I burnt this week was too weak in terms of throw. Maybe I'm just looking a little bit too critically at like what happened over the course of the burn with these post burns, but um, what I repurchased maybe, did it, it didn't perform badly. It's just like, like I said, you know, these are quite expensive. And you know, if this happens to like a Walmart candle or a Dollar General candle, I'm not too mad. But when these are quite more expensive, like you just, you want the quality to be a little bit better. And the wax doesn't seem to be of that quality to me. So that's another one I burnt through. I'm not done, you guys. I burnt through so many, but I saved the best for last. So I'm going to show you what I burnt through. So I did just, no, I'm still burning through my red, white, and blue firecracker pop candle. Almost done. That'll be in the next one, I'm thinking. But I did finish up a warm apple pie. And when I said in my first, my current burn review, and this is why I love to do both. I hope it's not too redundant. You guys will have to let me know down below. But um, they do change sometimes. Sometimes the performance overall changes. Sometimes the first burn isn't as good as like the, the overall candle. Sometimes it's the best burn and then the rest of the candle mint. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I like to do both. But the notes on warm apple pie, and that's the one thing you got to give Bath and Body Works. You don't have to do too much homework on these other candles. You can tell I burnt a lot of non bath and body work because I didn't have any notes for you guys. Baked Granny Smith Apple Melted Brown Sugar Flaky Homemade Crust with Natural Essential Oils. One of you guys told me, put this on the warmer because I said it smells good, but you kind of have to get in there and it just smelled so authentic, which I really loved. There wasn't too much cinnamon. There wasn't too much of a like weird apple note, like a candy apple note. This smelled like a real tart green apple, a flaky crust, that buttery brown sugar that, you know, like this was just a homemade authentic scent. So I really appreciated that, but I was like, mm, I'm just not getting it too far away. I didn't want to call it a bad performer because I know this is like a fan favorite, fan favorite, but someone said, put it on your warmer. And oh my goodness, if you guys have this candle, this warm apple pie, put it on your warmer. It made my whole house smell like I was baking. I fooled my my boys twice. Are you picking an apple pie? Candle again. And I really thought this packaging was super cute. I do have another one that I'm gonna save, but I think I'm gonna pick up the fall one because so far reviews are saying that the fall one's a little bit stronger. So I'm thinking on a warmer, that one's gonna be like Thanksgiving day. And so I loved this one. I overall, my experience was I would repurchase this for sure. I just didn't go crazy. Toward the end of the sale, I kind of explained this in videos so I don't show my arms, guys, because I'm just like, yuck. Um, so towards the end of the sale, I had that car issue. No big deal. That's adulting, right? Um, I had kind of realized at that point that I had been going to store, just buying backups of things because my stores didn't have any of those like unicorn items or 75% off of like the home fragrance section, which I do go just as ham in the home fragrance as I do in the body care. And I just had a mall that had like only body care on sale. A lot of my candles that were like on sale for 50% off are still in the like 24 50. So I just decided I was waiting. I'm going to wait for the next great sale. And then if I see something like this and I want to pay that with my little 20% off coupon, that is fine. So, you know, I, I, in case that just came off negative to any of y'all, I just wanted to throw that into this video. 
But these are great candles. And I'm hoping that if you guys like watch other people and you saw some of these things as a deal, I know this was an online exclusive, but people return. So this was a really good candle. And I got no of my current burns. I was kind of like, hmm, no, this really was good on the warmer. It just is like next level. So get your warm apple pie and put it on your warmer. I don't know why I do voices because they're not good. Um, last one for for post burn, saving the best for last. I won't sing, but it's a root beer donut. Now this is from Kringle Candle. This is a Richie made me buy it, which is Tebow fan 815 on TikTok. He was talking about this candle. I caught one of his lives. He was like ordering three more. I got FOMO and I ordered three as well. And I'm so glad I did that. That was like a really smart purchase. Um, and again, not the murky cruddiness like you get in those large jars. So I'm like, am I burning them wrong? Maybe I need to do my research. I didn't even know how to like remove wax from a candle. So kind of a newbie over here, but um, I think I just burn them and enjoy them. And just that's my candle style. But yeah, this wax got all funky. This wax was super clean. Um, this one didn't burn too quick. I will say, I felt like the warm apple pie burnt down really quick. I know Waikiki Beach, I told you in the last one, was like gone in a blink of an eye. Um, and I know this one did go pretty quick because this was like the last one I started and almost the first one done of this batch. But this one burnt relatively like evenly. But this is so creamy, so good. The root beer note is so unique. It's so authentic. You actually can smell that like foam top of the root beer when it's burning. Um, and then it does, I don't really get a strong donut note, but when you're burning it, it kind of warms everything up because again, a root beer float is cold. So for it to be warmed up, you kind of think that's maybe the donut part that just like something's baking and someone's having like a root beer float, but it is like a great thrower. The sad part is I can't hype this candle up too much because I think it's sold out, but they would be silly not to bring this one back, honestly. I mean, I know you don't want to overstock, but it was such a cute little wraparound. I'm so glad I have two more. I'm not burning them right away. I really enjoyed this one. And like, you know, it just, even like as it burnt, like there's like these little speckles in there. I don't know if that was from burning, but it just was super cute. I really, really love this one. I cannot say enough good things about this candle. This is like definitely going to be in my end of the year favorites. I, I can't imagine that that many candles would knock this one out. And I think it's just the uniqueness of the candle and then the performance matches it. Cause sometimes we get something really cool and unique. And by the time you get to your house, you're like, everybody said it was bad. Everyone that's tried this one has really enjoyed it. I know Kimball has reviewed it. I just know quite a few other people on here. Um, Bonnie from Queen of the Girl Gigs, she got herself one of these. She thinks she got the whole collection. I just got this one and then like the blueberry one. But this was so good. I It might be one of those things where you wanna check Kringle every once in a while to see if they bring it back. Because this was just, if you like root beer, ice cream, desserty candles, this is one that you really need to try. So that's that for post burns. And more quickly, we're gonna talk about what I'm currently burning. I usually only keep it to two to four candles because this video is gonna be an hour long. But what I really, um, I got like in my last like Goose Creek haul, remember they had that candle day sale like right in the middle of Bath and Body Works? I think I grabbed six. So I um, am trying Beach Kiss, which remember I got that funky one and I never called or anything because it's gonna burn down. But this one is so beautiful. It does, it has like a coconut. It just, it kind of smells like a beach, but also maybe like the perfume lingering, like from like you walked up behind somebody and you can smell a little bit of like a feminine perfume in here. When this is burning, I really love the uh, gradient of the purple wax. And so far it was pretty strong. This room is a pretty decent sized room and I could smell this in my laundry room, which is like down the hallway. So I thought that was a pretty good throw so far. Burnt it just one time, but for like two or three hours. And I will do a better job next time of remembering the notes. There's those little fruitiness to this one too. Possibly a banana, definitely not pineapple, but there's the coconut, but like a little bit more of like a sweet tart fruit as well. So I'll bring you the notes on that for the post burn, but this one, Beach Kiss from Goose Creek, really, really, really enjoying. And like I said, the purple wax is everything to me. But this one, so far, I can't wait to go put this one back on the burner. I, I just say on the burner, but like, it could be a candle holder. It could just be my counter. Um, you know, I stick one on like a auto warmer, but I don't turn the warmer on unless it needs to be. But I just say on the burner, meaning like, I can't wait to light it back up. This is pink water taffy. I guess it's comparable to their pink saltwater taffy that they used to have. I'd never tried that one. 
I'm new, new to Goose Creek. I tried them this year, but this smells just like pink saltwater taffy, like that bag of candy that your grandma used to get from like Brock's back in the day. It's so good. And this is really strong. I get like a strawberry, a raspberry, a watermelon, some sweet tart note in there, which I don't know what sweet tart is because it's kind of got like a sweet element with like a hint of salt to kind of make it like both. And I just really enjoy it. And then the taffy part, I think is like a little vanilla, maybe, I mean, maybe like a sponge sugar, but it's not cotton candy. It's very fruity, but I'm glad I pulled this one out because I was going to save it. And then I thought, no, if you start saving all your Goose Creek candles too, what are you going to burn? So I just want to give you a little close up of the picture. I love that Goose Creek really tries when they don't do too much with the packaging to give you like a colored um, wax. So I think that's pretty awesome because I also really enjoy more than I realized before the experience of burning colored wax versus just white wax. So that is it. That is all. That was quite a week of burning, don't you think? So again, thank you guys if you watched this point. Um, let me know if I didn't do a thorough enough job. I feel like after taking a little vacation, I'm forgetting some of the things I usually say in these videos, but um, next time I'll bring you more notes. I didn't realize I had so many candles without notes. I thought it was like one, so I thought they'll forgive me, but it was like all. So thank you for watching. Let me know down below what you are burning currently this week, and I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.